I want to show you guys uh, custom fields in Bitwarden because they are pretty unique and very, very helpful. Uh, to help with this, I've created a test form field. To get to it, just go to passwordbits.com, look underneath pages for test form fields, or just search for test form fields in the search bar there. But in the sidebar right here, you can click that and it'll take you to the page. So we can uh, use this as a little example demo. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, custom fields, you click on the uh, Bitwarden icon and view the item. You can edit and you can add custom fields. So you can select whatever type you want. We'll do text, new custom field, and the name it can be for time being uh, security question SQ. I'm just doing that for example, and whatever the security question you want it to be, and you click save. This can be helpful so when you're trying to log into a website and they have a security question, you can just open it up and there's a little copy to clipboard button there, and you can just paste it right in but custom fields are actually a lot more powerful than that that's what I want to show you uh, normally when you click uh, the Bitwarden it's extension icon click on the item it'll only fill in the username and password well maybe the website you need to log into has a like a, a company ID or a security question or, or whatever well Bitwarden can actually fill that in too and the way to do this kind of Kind of, I wouldn't say tricky, but it does require a little bit of knowledge how and how to get to that information because you need the unique ID or what is the item called on that page. And the easiest way to get to it is just simply right click in the text field and go down to inspect. You get the inspector window pop up, and when you hover over certain things, it'll show you what's uh, you're reviewing. It should already have the field that you right clicked already selected, and you're looking for. ID equals and whatever's in the quotes right there. So we're going to double click that, it's selected, and we're going to press copy. So I'll do that again. Double click it, right click, copy. So that is the thing we need. We want the ID equals. You can also use name equals, but ID equals, the ID is actually more. Uh, the thing you want to use because it's more exact, more unique. Then you want to go up to the Bitwarden extension icon, open the view button, and we're going to edit it. Go down to the custom fields, and we'll do add a new custom field. And the name section, that is where you want to paste the thing that you copied, that unique ID, the ID equals. And the value will be whatever uh, you need for that particular website. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five. And what you do is press save. We'll close that out. I'm just going to close the extension and open it back up. So next time when you click on the uh, Bitwarden extension, it will also fill in the company ID right there. So a lot easier, a lot faster. So I'm going to reload this page so you can see how it fills in everything. So we just have Bitwarden autofill. And since we have that uh, company ID in there, that will fill. Uh, you can also do it for other things. So we'll give you more examples. So we right click, we go down to expect. We want to find there. That's the one we want. We want the ID equals. Double click so we get the ones in the quotes. You do not want to copy the quotes. You just want what's inside the quotes. So we got copy. Go back to the extension. View item. Edit. Go down to the bottom where custom fields are. New custom field. You want to be text paste in what we copied. The value will be whatever the security question is. So that one's the address. So we'll say noon place drive because it's best to use non-real answers for security questions if you can. Then we'll press save. We'll close that. Close that. So I'm going to reload the page. And when we do click on the Bitwarden icon, in Chrome, click on the name, it will fill all that in for us. And you can get really fancy. You can even go down to the, uh, say there's a radio buttons. You can select that too. So what you do is right click on it, inspect, and you want to look for, see, let's do vanilla. ID equals R vanilla. Copy that. Back to the extension. View. Edit. 
all the way down to custom fields, new custom field as text. I click blue name will be will be copied value should be able to leave it blank so we'll hit save and when we click it yeah select a vanilla so I'm gonna go ahead to reload the page so you can see it all work as one and click the icon click it and it fills all in for you. You can get pretty creative with this. All you need is the ID equals and whatever's in the quotes. And that's how you align it up. That's how you control the custom fields. Super helpful, especially if you have a website that requires more than a username and password when you log in. Uh, super, super helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.